It's Christmas time and it's the last game before the break. It's Cobham against Jersey Bulls and we're at the Reg Madwick Stadium this afternoon. The Bulls team this afternoon, a few changes. Kerre, the captain, switches from left back to right back. James Carr comes in solid at the back with Curtis and Campbell. And of course, who can forget the Barlow worldy last week on 75 minutes. So he will be leading the line again with Bickley and the pace of the magician Cavallio. For Cobham, we expect their threats to come from number nine, Rhys Stanislau, who scored nine this season so far, and Nicholas Osborne wearing 11 with eight for him. The final checks are being made here. Used to be leg of mutton, of course, this time of the year. It's going to be leg of turkey for most of you in the next nine days. Well, it's time to get yourselves ready for the last game of 2023. Can the Bulls see it through? Can they get another three points? Well, Mr. Matthews appears to be ready. The players also. Just a couple of checks being made. Setting of the watches, as is the way, two watches. And for the final time of 2023, we're underway here. Forward it goes. Cut out, but chance for Cavallio now. Picks it up. He's going to take on David. He goes past David, squares it to the middle. Shot comes in, and it's Luke Watson who side foots it no real power there just looking to place it into that bottom right hand corner misses that early chance and a chance for the balls will we see a johnny lacane bomb well it looks like we will can he deliver a present early here in it comes looking for campbell going to fall to la Rouge tail wants to take the shot he does well just goes over the crossbar but la Rouge tail just not unable to keep it down there another chance for the balls you can see there the number five, Luke Campbell, Super Luke, 125 games, phenomenal. Can he get one from the head here? In it comes, Bickley falls down, cleared. And again, Cobham struggling to get it away. Back it comes, Watson plays it in. Campbell tries to flick it on Barlow, can he get there? Barlow with a shot, cross the goal, comes followed up and it's Cavallio. Well, it's been coming. The defence of Cobham have been pretty poor so far in clearing the ball. Real confusion there. And in the end, Cavallio gambles at the far post. He sees the ball and he gets there first. And it's the Jersey Bulls one. Cobham nil. Well, a misclearance there. The flick is good from Campbell. The ball across from Barlow. And there is the magician. Spellbinding from him. The early present for the Bulls and everyone happy to see the lead already with the Jersey Bulls. Kerre trying to get Lacane in. Does well. Got support by LaRouge Tail. Steps inside. Still going LaRouge Tail. Outside now to Lacane. He's got a bit of space. Can he get the ball in? He's going to take on, well he does, he gets inside to Saar, left foot into the box, header on, and it's there! And it's Fraser Barlow, well you can't stop him scoring. He got one last week, an absolute perler with his left. He's got one off his head today with just over 18 and a half minutes gone here. Fraser Barlow doubles the lead, the Jersey Bulls have their second. It's a good bit of play by Johnny Lacane. he just gets inside him. The nicest of deftest touches in the end by Barlow. His second in two games, the Bulls second, and their second Christmas present in Cobham. Slow build up again, Campbell. Forward it goes. Bickley just knocks it back for Cavallio. Cavallio keeps it going, keeps it alive, plays it out. Barlow now gets down the right hand side. Can he turn provider? Barlow crosses it, falls to Cavallio. Not quite cleared though in the middle. This time looks like it's Connolly. And now a chance at the other end, and here goes Cobham. Shot comes in and they've scored! Well, out of nothing, it's Hellstow, the number seven, who's found a quick reply to the ball second. Somehow he manages to break free and he beats Roche with a plum and ease there. It's Hellstow who gets one back. His first 
his seventh game this season and he just finds that bottom right hand corner Piers Roche no chance Watson to Cavallio Cavallio does well finds the rouge tail in again Watson Bickley can Bickley get the shot off Bickley's been pulled down there surely edge of the box should be a yellow card for the skipper there Bickley is virtually mugged on the end of the edge of the penalty box there not a foul Will it be Bickley? Will he just drill one through this wall? Bickley takes it, and he does! Well, it gets under the wall. Clever from Bickley, sees them jump. They expect him to try and probably bend one round and over. And in the end, Westfall is alive to it, straight down his throat. Can the Hammers find a second as we come very close to the half an hour mark here? It's played short, kept in. And it comes from David. Well, nearly catches everyone out. Just seems to roll across the top of the crossbar there. Cobham with the throw though here. Stanislaw is the target near post. Flicks it on or tries to. Uh, claims a bit of a maybe handball there. Barlow defending. Across it comes. LaRouge tail with the header still not clear. Falls now to Boyer with the shot. Saved by Roche. Well, he's had little to do, but has to make a save. And again, well, shot comes in. Goes wide, but Cobham again out of nothing, nearly finding a second. And it is up to Roche here, who has to stay alert. Bounces just in front of him, and it's hooked away by Campbell. And then again with the shot is Boyer, but he can't get this one on target. Another long ball from him, going route one this time, looking for Watson. Alexio under pressure. Gets it clear. <laughs> Ball bouncing around. Hits the bin. <laughs> Nearly takes out <laughs> the pint as well. In fact, it is. So that will need a refill. Watson. Now the rouge tail. McCain just nudged away from it by Markley. Picks it up again forward heavy touch but still keeps hold of it from Stanislaw Stanislaw goes down in the middle it's like it's, off, it's an offside free kick well calling over Curtis here looks like a bit of a coming together well Stanislaw and him just had a little bit of a ruck a few minutes ago and it is a bit of a nudge but and then well he just runs across the back of Stanislaw, no intent there by the looks of it, but it's going to be a free kick for the Hammers and a chance again to test Roche. And Stanislaw looks like he fancies this himself, just on the D. Osborne is there as well. It's going to be Stanislaw, takes it, he scores! Well, it just goes through the ball's wall and he drills it into the top left-hand corner. Piers Roche doesn't even move for that one. And it's Cobham 2, Jersey Bulls 2. Well, are we going to have a Tadley Kaleva type of game here at Cobham this afternoon? Cobham looked out of it after 20 minutes, but at 35, they're back in it. And it's Stanislaw who brings them level. He absolutely drills this. It goes past Campbell. It goes past Roche. And it's in the back of the net. And it's Cobham, the Hammers 2. Jersey Bulls to Kerry. Forward it goes, edge of the box. Wayne nearly gets Bickley. Oh, just can't quite get enough on it. A little bit of a miss kick, and then it looks like it is, in fact, Marklu who gets the final touch, the number eight. And Curtis goes again for that long ball forward, and in comes Bickley. Bickley into the box. Can he get the shot off? He does. Well, he hits the bar, Lorne Bickley. Well, out of nothing, the big man nearly turns it into what would have been a stunning goal, and it just clatters the crossbow. Does really well here. He shakes off King, and of a cute angle, boom, into the just corner nearly of the crossbar. Westfall was beaten, but it just doesn't go in and under. Here they come again, this time. Dessar still going down. He's brought fairly. Good challenge. Now route one again, it's going to be out of his box comes Westfall. Can, oh, it doesn't fall in the end for the Kane. And then 
the challenge and then this time Kerry gets there and then the shot does come from Lecain. West was off his line. Well, he's having to get back quickly in the end. Didn't really know where his goal was and he gets back just in the nick of time. Forward it goes. Looking for Stanislav, flicks it on. Is there a chance here? There is, it's Dessar with the, it, well, brilliant tackle in the end by James Carr, and then Roche keeps it in, and then gets back up quickly and plays it out. It's gonna be Alexiu, long throw from him. Flicked on Stanislau. Barlow clears, slices it away, but it finds Cavallio. Cavallio thinks about the pass and then decides to take it on. And still he goes, Cavallio now, driving forward, still going, Cavallio, twisting, turning, getting a shot off. Well, he does, Cavallio in the end, he does it all himself, but he can't find the target. And then he goes down, and so does David. Looks to be quite physical, yeah, number 12. A ridge tail, flicked on again. Oh, well, right in the knee there this time. Nothing given, Barlow stayed down. Here come the balls, Carr squares it. Watson, play on, Barlow's up. Oh, it looks like he's all right. Went down, looked like it was quite bad initially, but Barlow's bounced back again. Well, Barlow's going across. He's saying, well, he's been simbin. I think he's very happy from the fact that he got clattered. Well, he's just trying to work out exactly what's happening. It looks like Barlow is in Simbin, it must be for back chat. So the Bulls look like they're going to be down to 10 for 10. Flicked on again, and now here come Cobham into the box. Perks going, goes down. Well, it looks like it's a foul, in fact, on Campbell. Campbell has gone down. Well, the Bulls are in the wars all of a sudden here, and it's Luke Campbell who's struggling, and it's Perk. It may well be just got caught in the challenge. Well, will Cobham shock the Bulls this afternoon? Well, they haven't given up, and they've been the better side, you'd say, the second half. They've been putting the pressure on. Here they come again, edge of the box. Nobody is there, and the thing is the Bulls are not picking up the Cobham players as well as they were. And as a result, Cobham have got more time on the ball. Here it comes again. Flick forward. It's going to be, well, Stanislav is, well, it's fallen. The save is now by... Roche down at his feet and it ricochets backwards and somehow back into the arms of Piers Roche. But Cobham, having looked the more likely, come inches away from getting their third. Piers Roche this time has to be alert, and does well. The cane challenged by Dessar. Now McColgan flicks it through for the cane, gets it back. The cane still going. Pushed his E a little bit, Alexiu. Well, coming together. Nothing given again. Maybe 50-50 there, a bit of each grabbing each other. And in the end, the ref lets it go. Assistant on the far side gives him the nod that it was no more than a throw in. It will be Alexi who'll take it himself. Foul throw, well. Don't see too many of those. And it's going to be, what is it, Lorne Bickley? Well, it looks like Lorne Bickley has now been sent to the sim bin. So the balls are down to nine. Well, Bickley is definitely in the sim bin. Not sure what that's for. Must have said something again. Nazareth now. Plays it again. Uh, given away by Stanislav this time. And now Barlow is back on and quickly comes onto the pitch and he picks it up. Barlow's space. Barlow now on his own. Barlow going. Can he square it? Will he shoot? He shoots. It's saved. Oh, Westfall just about gets the rebound as Kerre, of all people, is bombing forward to try and capitalise on what was nearly a mistake by Westfall there. In the end, just does enough as Barlow has sneaked back on from the sim bin, alive to that and causing Westfall to make a save. Lecane, Cavallio. Cavallio trying to go through Nazareth. Doesn't manage to. And now a chance for Pert, who's got in behind Carr. Pert now into the box. Pert, great tackle by James Carr. And then in the end, kept in by Piers Roach. And that could be the tackle of the match by James Carr. Cobham 
looking at the league table will be more than happy to come away with a point here you'd think they were down and out inside 20 but here they come again crossed it in the middle and well it's nearly charles who w comes up with the finishing touch in the end he scoops it over the bar but ashby charles nearly snatching it for cobham hooked away the k now can he get the shot off no boyer does really well to get there ahead of him Kerry trying to get across and he does well it's all over here at Cobham FC, it's finished. Cobham 2, Jersey Bulls 2. Some of the players are down on their feet. Stanislaw is down. Looks like he maybe just got a bit of a bang. He, of course, was one of the scorers today. The Bulls took the lead on 10 with Miguel Cavallio tapping in. Then Fraser Barlow with a header on 19 before Helsto got one back for Cobham. And then Stanislaw with a thunderbolt of a free kick on 35, making it 2 2. Well, that was the end of the goal action in the first half there was nothing in the second the teams will share the christmas spoils it is the last action of 2023 the jersey balls dropping two points you'd say on the road against the side sitting much lower in the table but spirited they were cobham fair play to them well that's the end of the action for this side of christmas week will come again in 2024 with the home game against Alton FC at Springfield. But for now, we hope you've enjoyed watching it. We will see you next year.